Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tab back here with another episode of our No Money Spent Squad series. Logging in today, Tuesday, for our two tokens. And it's crazy the fact that I legitimately used basically all of my tokens at the start of this season when the token market was updated. I didn't end up getting the LTE card that I, I that I wanted yesterday. I wanted the TJ Warren card just because I thought he would be a good addition possibly to add it to kind of the guys that I've been playing but my thought process last night when I decided I was this was my thought process. I was deciding, do I get on and, and get this TJ Warren card or not? My answer was Elgin Baylor lately has been incredible. Jimmy Butler is solid, and we get a new season on Friday. So the odds that TJ Warren plays for more than two days, and in these two days, I don't have to play any my team unlimited. My thought process really just told me it's not worth grinding and, and stressing about. So that's kind of where I'm at as far as TJ Warren is concerned. Now, before we dive in for the plan of attack today, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. We have less than three days until the new season. So really for me at this point, it's it's what do I need to do to prepare for the new season? That's, that's my biggest kind of question mark that I have right now. Get as much empty stocked up as possible for the new season because I've been kind of talking about it lately in my videos and I want you guys to really realize that the auction house right now is not going to get any higher. Don Maker for 268. You got Ben Simmons for 450. You got a Blake Griffin card who is very mid going for 123. PG above 250. KP probably this is going to end above 250. You got all these cards that are just so expensive really for no reason. And that includes this guy right here in, in Dikembe Mutombo. I mean, all of these cards are so, so expensive. So I'm going to I'm gonna see if there's a good time slot for my Dikembe. And if there is, I'm going to put him up right now. And I love my Dikembe. I love him with all my heart. But I really think that, that if I can sell him and get a good amount of MT for him, it's going to set me up well for the start of next season. So I'm going to grab a Dikembe Mutombo here. We're, we'll worry about all the pink diamonds afterwards. But Dikembe, he's got to be the first one to go. I don't even know where he's at. So let's go here, search Dark Matter. And let's get Dikembe Mutombo up out of here, out of my lineup. Every other Dark Matter I have is a reward card, so I can't really sell them or do anything with them. Decent enough time to put up Mutombo. I'm gonna just put up the base Matembo card. I'm hoping to get above 270 for Matembo. If I can get above 270, I'll be happy for that out of Matembo because that's gonna come back, give me about 250,000 MT, probably about 550,000 just with that. Same thing, Josh Smith. Let's get you out of here and let's plug Mono Ginobili in there. And I'm gonna get rid of Josh Smith again. Josh Smith's a guy that I don't necessarily know if his price is gonna decrease that much. But he's a guy that I don't need right now. And I feel like everybody's price has a chance of decreasing by a decent a decent amount just strictly because the auction house is so high right now. And I'm super high on Josh Smith. But with the way the auction house is in general, I don't expect a lot of prices in the auction house to go up, if that makes sense. So Josh Smith right now is, what, 40,000 MT? Honestly, it's cheaper than I initially thought he would be. But still, 40,000 MT now could turn into 30,000 in a week from now. So I'm gonna get rid of Josh Smith as well. For 30, maybe I can get 30, 35,000 after tax for him. So him and Matumbo are gonna be uh, basically all the MT I'm gonna get back. As far as bulk MT, yes, Hakeem, yes, some other guys. I'm gonna look at Bobo as well. We're gonna just sort through some things and see. But the big thing is that you go through your collections. Don't wait for the last minute because auction house right now is super duper high. Again, Bobo right now, and you look at it, what is it, 80,000? My Bobo isn't anything special. He's just a base Bobo. So I'm going to get rid of him as well. We're going to sell Bobo because there's really no reason for me to have him on my line, on my roster if he's just a base card. I actually thought my Bobo was a little bit juiced. Uh, maybe had some extra Hall of Famers, which he doesn't. So I'm getting rid of Bobo because at the end of the day, guys, not to say we're going to see a Bobo necessarily super soon, but we should see a Pink Diamond or not a Pink Diamond. We should see a new Bobo card decently soon at some point. So that's my thing. Selling Bobo, selling Josh Smith, and selling Dikembe Mutombo. That's going to be the start of all of my MT start to started to come in. And I'm not going to go through it all today. We'll probably go through my kind of redemptions tomorrow in that video. But we're going to put up, be putting up basically every player that's not a reward player in this video today. All these players are basically just players I've gotten from packs or, or done gameplays with or tried out on my No Money Spent squad at some point. 70, 77 and just see if he sells. But all these guys, I'm telling you, will add up and make a difference 
by the time I do record my next episode tomorrow and by the time the new season starts. That's more important than everything. I'm going to save all of these redemptions from stuff I sell because I want you guys to, to kind of see that all in the video tomorrow. So that's what kind of what my plan is, plan of attack is today. As far as what I should grind next, I got my limited ring. I've got Larry Johnson. So as far as these two modes, I've really beat them. Now, what else could I grind to make my squad better? That's kind of a question that I want you guys to kind of think about. And my answer to you guys is, do you guys think Bailey Howell could make my lineup better? And I don't necessarily know the whether there's a right or wrong answer to it, but he is another reward card that would be kind of cool to have. So in this video today, I might play three games at the top tier for Bailey Howell. I'm not going to make you guys watch the, the, the middle tier. I'll show you guys the boards. But I'm going to play three games at the top and see if I can get Bailey Howe to add to my squad today. And like I said, I don't know if he is going to necessarily be a great addition. But let's say a limited weekend, I need a guy like Bailey Howe. Uh, let's say I need a Celtics players and I need Bailey Howe to come through. I would now have him. We're just going to kind of see how the odds are in show with their online. Are they getting boosted towards the end of the year or not? And what are the boards like even if I don't see ultimately the Bailey Howe card? And when doing this, we're going to use Larry Johnson. Just to use it, man. I got the card, so I might as well put them to use. The key in the first two games I play is that I can't lose. Because right now I'm four and one. So as long as I win, I'm gonna be just fine. I'm playing Sino. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. This guy's running Eric Bledsoe, so I should be just fine. Is there a challenge out with Eric Bledsoe today or something? Because I played two triple deck games and both guys have has have been running Eric Bledsoe. Look at Larry. Oh my goodness. So you can agree on that. Okay, Larry Johnson. Look. Look, Larry, if if that's an indication on what's to come. I'm I'm expecting big things for the rest of rest of my rest of your time with me because that was incredible. Bump steal into a three ball. I love it. That's that's the energy I need not only from you but from everybody on my team. Oh yeah, Danny, you know what to do. I, I, I honestly think they nerfed Danny Ferry. Like I just simply cannot green with him anymore. I used to green everything with him. It's not really the case anymore. Let's see what behind the back you got. I kind of forgot. Oh my goodness. Look. I know at the start of the season, I thought Larry Johnson was good, but this dude can move. Like, Larry Johnson might be my solution at the back of small forward position. And I know I love Rocco and James Worthy is solid, but Larry Johnson might have a role on my squad, at least for a little while. I mean, nobody talks about him because ultimately he's not worth the grind, probably. But he's been playing well so far for me in this triple threat game. Oh my goodness, Larry. Look, I don't know. I wasn't expecting him to come out and do this. I know my, my opponent I'm playing, obviously, is running Eric Blood, so... But he's playing very, very well. Good to me. Board. Oh, yeah. Run. Imagine me going. I'll take a three instead. He's got sharp badge. I just don't know what you guys want from me. Larry Johnson might be the best. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys to go grind for Larry Johnson. But if you have him in your inventory, I'd you know, recommend just giving dude another chance. Because his release is straight cash homie. I mean, realistically, he was 7 of 8, and the one I shot, he was blinking and his dribbled the entire possession. So that was an incredible performance from my man Slayer. And so here's my thing with Triple Threat. I don't necessarily mind these boards, but if they made these boards better, uh, the, the player base in 2K in general would be better. That is that simple. 2K put a little more effort into making these boards, and that's maybe more unique. Something like that, more people would play the game. It's just that simple. Yes, badge packs aren't terrible. 300 MT can add up. But is that worth really playing the game all day for? And ultimately, the answer to that question is probably not. So that's something hopefully in the future 2K can do is kind of up the up the purpose of playing Triple Threat Online. It's fine. I still enjoy playing Triple Threat Online. Probably more than anything is, is probably just my favorite mode to just chill and play. But the rewards have to be better. I have one more game at the middle tier that I have to make sure to win before getting to that top tier and a chance for Bailey Howe. My opponent here is using Steph Curry. I can now say in June, because we're in June. The man's using Steph Curry in June. Just don't know how I feel about it. Like, I get it, man. Steph Curry, but in June? I mean, maybe in maybe in, in, oh, in September, right? Maybe in September, but not in June. Larry Johnson, you know what he is going to do. That's how we started last game. With a bump steal, turning it into three points. I'm pretty sure most tweeted earlier today about the servers being bad, but man. I've had choppiness in game one and two so far. Like this, obviously it doesn't look bad right now. But earlier this game, yeah, you can see maybe I bet I just I'm, just, I'm spiking here and there. I just I want a normal game in which I'm not spiking. Good shot, Larry Johnson. Nothing better than getting a green animation on a white. 
These might be one of these some of the worst servers I've played on. Like these are bad. It's good thing Larry Johnson has the Hall of Fame flexible badge because anything I throw up there, it's probably gonna go in. But these like this connection, 2K's got to fix this choppiness. This is awful to play, and it's really I mean it, it just kind of it diminishes the all the fun I had. Right, the first game I had kind of fun playing the game. The game when it was choppy and I wasn't green shots, it wasn't near as fun. I will say with how boards are, if you have a couple, if you have three guys with let's say diamond contracts, you can really make a make a pretty good amount of MT in an hour playing this game. I think people would be surprised by how much MT or and tokens you could make if you played trip with their online for an hour with everybody having diamond contracts. It, I think it would stun you. Like a lot of people are like, Ty, how do you make MT? Quite honestly, if you just want to have fun and if you're good at the game, making MT. Just play triple threat online. In 2K19, that's really how I got. I said I literally never spent MT on packs outside of. Well, I did, I did to start on Christmas, but outside of that, I I literally spent a hundred dollars on the game and I got one of the first Opal Giannis's in 2K19. Just because I played triple threat online so much, and rewards were a little better than this probably. But it's kind of the same thing. If you play the game a lot and you want to have fun. Just go to Triple Threat Online. Every time I see Sidney Moncrief, I clown him and then he goes crazy. So Sidney Moncrief, look, just chill on me, okay? I love starting with the ball. Why am I spiking like this? 2K, please fix your game. I get it, Larry Johnson's the best, so that's going to go in. But you guys are seeing the choppiness right now, and I know it's not my connection. Because I, like, I can tell when it's my internet, and I know it's not. So I don't know what's going on with 2K right now. Maybe it's just Triple Threat Online. But this is bad. How choppy it is is just unbelievably bad. Like, I don't know. And on every... Oh, my goodness. Shoot it. I want to see if it's choppy for you, too. You shot that. I feel like every shot with Larry Johnson, for me, if it's been open, it's basically gone in. Well, even if it's not green, like, because of the Hall of Fame flexible, he basically greens everything. I shouldn't say greens everything, hits everything. Come here. Just go get me. What in the world? Maybe if I could see what's going on, 2K. Are you kidding me? This thing is terrible. Fix your servers. This is terrible, man. Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose the game because y'all servers are broken. A multi-billion dollar company and y'all can't have good servers. Are you kidding me? This is terrible. And now y'all don't want to rebound. Look, we go over this every day. We go over rebounding drills, right? I'm gonna take y'all to shoot around tomorrow for some rebounding drills, and then and then we'll find out if y'all if my coaching works out. Thank you, Fairy. I don't know how that's green. I have been getting blessed matchups, and I mean part of it, part of the reason probably is who's playing triple threat online today. Unless you're trying to get Steve Nash, which I think you have to. Uh, maybe that's why people are using Eric Bledsoe. That is why people are using Eric Bledsoe. I just connected the dots. I might be the smartest. Anyways. I think, I think that's the thing, is people are playing, obviously, for Steve Nash, probably. But for me, I'm just trying to get through the games, honestly. I'm trying to get my Bailey Howell and keep it pushing. It's, it's, it's really that simple for me. Larry, like, y'all see my connection right now? What is good with 2K? We're here for one reason and one reason only today, and 1,000 MT is not that reason. But even with this board, guys, this is what I'm telling you guys about Triple Threat Online. The, just, the odds of you making decent MT by playing Triple Threat is, is solid. I, I can't really hate on the mode in general and, and kind of the, what, what's, what can come from it. Because if you do play a lot of Triple Threat online, you're going to make MT. And, and th there's no real question about it right there. 3,000 MT. And if you get 1,000 MT a couple of times, it definitely adds up. Now, would I rather have 1,000 MT or Bailey Howell? I mean, we I think we all know the answer to that is probably Bailey Howell. But I'm just saying, even if I don't, let's say I don't get Bailey Howell today. I, the thing is, I'm going to make a decent amount of MT by playing this. And I feel like in Triple Threat Online, I just haven't came up against... Oh, that should have been my bum, but teams that I'm even worried about even possibly coming close to beating me. Like, this guy's obviously got Kawhi, who's solid, but look at the servers. Like, how are, my, how are we playing this game when these servers are this broken, 2K? Fix your servers! I'm about to shoot a very late because I can't even see what's going on, man. Why are the servers the way they are? This is just bad. And I know it can't just be me because my internet is, is good. Like, I'm... what is going on? If I lose this game, I'm gonna be mad, and I'm, I, I I might lose it. Like, what is going on with 2K? Watch this green though. Can you just, bro? 
We're playing Triple Threat Online. There's no need to sweat me like this. Danny Perry, about time you show up for me. Thankfully, my opponent quit, but look, I, I know I've complained about the servers a lot, but this is nearly unplayable. Now, the good thing about this is I only have one more game, and I might not even have one more game. Listen, listen, listen. If I get Bailey Howe, all my grind, all my stress, look, I don't have it anymore. Bailey Howe is on boards, guys, and if I can secure him, this is going to be a successful day. Successful day on the No Money Spent Squad account. Oh, I don't know if they updated boards or not, but I see Bailey Howe. So, where are we going? Like, I dropped it all the way left. And 2K decided, no, let's go all the way right. Like, come on, 2K. I don't know why we're doing this. I don't, I don't I'm not trying to play games. I see Bailey Howell. Let me get Bailey Howell. So let me tell you this. I dropped it all the way left. It went all the way right. I dropped it all the way right, and it went all the way left. Where do I need to drop this thing? I'm dropping it all the way right again. That's a perfect place to drop it. Go right. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh my goodness, like, there's just no way I'm getting this, like, I got one more drop, and then I gotta close that for our next game, but why is it being like this? I'm going all the way, I'm going all the way right again. This is it, right here. It's a perfect. Where are we going? Right, go right, go right. Oh my goodness. I gotta close that, I gotta close that, and hope I see Bailey Howe on the next boards, but this is just terrible, man. I don't understand how a dude can get so unlucky. Our last chance to get Bailey out of the plus sign is I know he's going to be on this board. Possibly our first test today, Baylor, Worthy, and Bill Russell. Can I get the ball first? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I want to be worried, but the servers are scaring me a little bit against this type of a squad. Oh, no. He got Bill Russell, so he can't be that bad, right? Okay, he's just trying to burr. Like, yeah, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I gave you too much credit when you haven't shown me anything. Ah, no! Come on servers. There's no way like, there's no way 2k can be this bad. There's just no there's physically no way He's not green in it uh, Pro 3 me. Oh my goodness, Larry. Oh my goodness, Larry. I gotta get a peek. That's me. Good. Good, Bill Oh my goodness, I'm not green in a shot today, but thank the Lord for Bill Russell There's just no way 2k is doing this to me Just so stunned right now. I'm just so stunned. I'm trying all I can. Larry Johnson is literally carrying me today. Oh my gosh, 2K. I I I I I don't know what to say. I know my internet's good, so I just don't know what you want me to say. I dare you. Give me a loss here, 2K. I dare you. you got three seconds to figure it out. <laughs> you know what? I know I'm not playing any more triple threat online. This is it. It's just not going to happen. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to drop my two balls that I'm going to have for Bailey Howe. If I don't get him, 2K, look, if I do not get him, I do not get Bailey Howe here, you guys will see me lose my mind. So you better bless me. You better make it happen, 2K. That's all I can say. You better make it happen. Perfect. Perfect. You better make it happen. Perfect. This game stinks, man. That's just terrible. That's just terrible. That's a perfect drop for 400 MT. Awesome. Yeah, I got one more. Now what? Don't give me him. See what happens, 2K. Do not give me Bailey Howe and see what happens. This is just terrible. This is just terrible. This is just terrible. This is just terrible. This is terrible. Fire Ronnie. Fire everybody. Yeah! Fire! What? Clear the house. You guys can't get your servers right, but y'all, look. Oh my goodness. Y'all make sure it's good for packs, right? Guarantee if I go to rip a super pack, it'll be just fine. This is just terrible, man. I, I'm selling to Kev, man. I'm going to go through my MT tomorrow. But this is just terrible. Blasphemy. I should have Bailey Howe right now. It is what it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.